He once said, Never let the fear of striking out get in your way. Such a confident statement reflects not only how he played a game, but how he approached life. He was a towering figure in American history. While Babe Ruth was not afraid to radiate total confidence, he also showed an everyman quality to him that made an American dream recognizable to millions of Americans. He is prominently one of the most important athletes in baseball. A famous pitcher, a known home run hitter, and has served jail time for being a reckless driver? So, who is Babe Ruth behind all these achievements? I can't go on forever, but you can bet your sweet life that I won't play until I drop, <laughs> but I'll play until I damn near drop. <clears throat> <clears throat> what made him who he was? And how did he reach the status as one of the greatest players of all time in baseball? We hope you already gathered your chips and sodas as we get down and dirty about his early life, his accomplishments, and some juicy details outside the diamond. Stay put and enjoy this video if you want to learn more about the makings of the legendary Babe Ruth. Before we take into a deep dive into his life and career, please be sure to like and subscribe to Sports Stars and click the bell so you won't miss our latest videos. George Herman Ruth Jr. was born on February 6, 1895 in Baltimore, Maryland to parents George Sr. and Kate. George Jr. was one of eight children, although only he and his sister Mamie survived. Did you know that for decades, Ruth believed that his birthday was February 7, 1894? However, when he applied for a passport before sailing to Japan with an all-star team of ball players after the 1934 season, he looked up his birth certificate and found his birthday listed as February 6, 1895, nearly a full year later than he had believed. Ruth, however, continued to celebrate February 7 as his birthday and did not shave a year off his age. When George Jr. turned 7 years old, his parents realized he needed a stricter environment and decided to send him to the St. Mary's Industrial School for Boys, a school run by Catholic monks in an order of the Xavierian Brothers. St. Mary's provided a strict and controlled atmosphere that bettered George's future. Not only did he acquire vocational skills, but he cultivated a passion and love for the game of baseball. Brother Matthias, one of the monks at St. Mary's took an immediate liking to George Jr. and became a positive role model and father-like figure to George Jr. while at St. Mary's. Brother Matthias also happened to help George Jr. develop his baseball skills, working tirelessly with him on hitting, fielding, and pitching skills. George Jr. became so skilled at baseball that the brothers requested Jack Dunn, owner of Baltimore Orioles, to watch him play. In February 1914, after seeing him for less than an hour, Dunn had become interested and a contract was offered to George. Since George Jr. was only 19 at that time, Dunn had to become George's legal custodian to complete the deal. Upon seeing George Jr. for the first time, the Orioles players referred to him as the Jack's newest babe. And thus, the most famous nickname in American history was born. Thereafter, George Herman Ruth Jr. was known as The Babe. Babe performed well for Dunn and the Orioles, leading to the sale of Babe to the Boston Red Sox by Dunn. While Babe is most known for his immense power as a slugger, he started his career as a pitcher and became famous for that later on in his career. In 1914, Babe appeared in five games for the Red Sox, pitching in four of them. He won his Major League debut on July 11, 1914. Bay became a permanent fixture in the Red Sox rotation in 1915, gaining an 18-8 record with an era or earned run average of 2.44. He caught up his successful first season with the 23-12 campaign in 1916, leading the league with a 1.75 era. In 1917, he went 24-13 with a 2.01 era and a staggering 35 complete games in 38 starts. However, by the time, Babe had displayed enormous power in his limited plate appearances, so it was decided his bat was too good to be left out of the lineup daily. As a result, in 1918, the change began to turn Babe into an everyday player. That year, he tied for the major league lead in home runs, 
with 11, and followed that up by setting a single-season home run record of 29 dingers in 1919. Little did he know that the 1919 season would be his last with Boston. On December 26, 1919, Babe was sold to the New York Yankees. This had become the point of no return for his career. After becoming a New York Yankee, Babe's shift to a full-time outfielder became complete. Babe led the game gathering numbers that had never seen before. He changed baseball from a grinded-out style to one of power and high-scoring games. He rewrote the record books from a hitting standpoint, combining a high batting average with incredible power. The result was an attack on baseball's most hallowed records. In 1920, he bested the home run record he set in 1919 by belting a staggering 54 home runs, a season in which no other player hit more than 19, and only one team hit more than Babe did individually. Babe wasn't done as his 1921 season may have been the greatest in MLB history. That season, he shattered a new record of 59 home runs, drove in 171 RBI or run batted in, scored 177 runs, batted .376, and had an unheard of .846 slugging percentage. Babe was officially a superstar and enjoyed a fame never seen before in professional baseball. With Babe leading the way, the Yankees became the most recognizable and powerful team in baseball, setting attendance records along the way. When Yankees moved to a new stadium in 1923, it was appropriately dubbed the house that Ruth built. Babe's mythical stature increased even more in 1927, when, as a member of Murderous Row, he set a new home run record of 60, a record that would stand for 34 years. During his time with the Yankees, Babe ignited the greatest dynasty in all of American sport. Before his arrival, the Yankees have never won a title of any kind. After joining the Yankees before the 1920 season, Babe helped the Yankees capture seven pennants and four World Series titles. Upon retiring from the Boston Braves in 1935, Babe held an extraordinary 56 major league records at that time including the most revered record in baseball, the 714 home runs. In 1936, the Baseball Hall of Fame was inaugurated and Babe was elected as one of its first five inductees. And that's just the cherry on top. Stay where you are, don't let those eyes wander as we continue to give you the juiciest bits of Ruth. I'm sure you've been waiting to dish out the most interesting facts about our baseball hero. Ruth married 16-year-old Helen Woodford after his rookie season. The couple adopted a daughter, likely born to one of Ruth's mistresses, in 1922. Within a few years, the pair separated permanently. In 1929, a faulty wiring sparked a fire that swept through a Watertown, Massachusetts. House owned by a dentist named Edward Kindler and killed the woman mistakenly identified as his wife Helen Kindler. Helen, however, was Ruth's estranged wife, and her true identity did not come to light until readers and family members identified her photograph in a Boston newspaper. The real Helen Ruth came only hours before her scheduled funeral. Ruth's litany of speeding tickets, traffic violations, and automobile accidents was nearly as prolific as his 714 home runs. On June 1921, Ruth was arrested in Manhattan for speeding, albeit at 26 miles per hour, for the second time of the month, and sentenced to spend the rest of the day in jail. Released 45 minutes after the start of that day's game, Ruth put on his Yankee uniform underneath his suit and sped off with a motorcycle escort in time to play for the Yankees. During the fall of 1946, it was found that Babe had a deadly tumor on his neck and his health began to decline rapidly. On June 13, 1948, his jersey number three was retired by the Yankees during his last appearance at Yankee Stadium. Babe lost his battle with cancer on August 16, 1948. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You know how bad my voice sounds. Well, it feels just as bad. You know this baseball game of ours. And after you're a boy and grow up to know how to play ball, then 
you come to the boys you see representing themselves today in your national pastime. The only real game, I think, in the world, baseball. There's been so many lovely things said about me, and I'm glad that I've had the opportunity to thank everybody. Thank you. His bones lay in repose in Yankee Stadium, with his funeral two days later at St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. In all, over 100,000 people lined up and paid their respects to the babe. Despite his death over 60 years ago, Babe remains the greatest personality in Major League Baseball and one of the true representations in American history. He helped preserve baseball from the ugly Black Sox scandal and gave hope to millions during the Great Depression. He impacted the game in a way never seen before or since. He continues to be the benchmark by which all players are measured. Despite last playing nearly 75 years ago, Babe is still universally recognized as the greatest player in Major League Baseball history. So what are your thoughts about Babe Ruth so far? Don't let your thoughts remain unheard. You can leave a comment or if you wish to get your ideas heard. And who knows, we will feature it for you in our next videos. We appreciate hearing from our viewers as we will always want you to be a part of it. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel Sports Stars and click the bell to watch our newest videos. You can also check the links in the description to watch more of our best videos. Thanks for watching.